Sit along any highway, especially on the west coast, and you'll see all types of truck campers heading off for another great camping adventure. Truck campers have been commercially produced since the early 50s, as these early photos of a Sport King camper modeled on a 52 Ford pickup shows us. Or, how about the Springline Avion camper we saw being restored at Sierra Trailer Restorations in Northern California? One of the companies that began way back in the early days is Lance Campers, and since the early days, has been setting the standard for truck campers. To learn more about truck campers, we traveled to Lancaster, California, the home of Lance Campers, and met with Norm Jacobson, marketing manager for the company, whose knowledge of truck campers would rival any historian. We asked Norm just how and when the company got started. Uh, Lance Camper started here in Southern California 45 years ago as a small manufacturing company that built and sold right out the front door, factory direct. They did that for quite a few years until a number of dealers, uh, recreation vehicle dealers, thought that they could sell truck campers in their market area. One at a time we started picking up new dealers and the company eventually decided to become a manufacturer and not a dealer. And so we dropped the facility for doing retail sales and strictly manufactured for RV dealers. We were one of the one of the pioneers in the truck camper business. Many of the features and truck campers were generated in our R&D department. Bumpers on the back of towing capacity for trucks. All features like that. But many of them started right at the Lance factory. Seeing all these truck campers being built, we were wondering if truck campers were as popular back in the early days. In the beginning, you know, there were 50, 60, 70 truck camper manufacturers in the 70s and 80s because motorhomes didn't even exist, or, or very, very few motorhome manufacturers existed. And so truck campers, trucks were very popular. Truck campers were one of the, the only types of recreation vehicles. And so the industry built well over 100,000 truck campers a year. And um, you know they were built with sticks and tin on the outside and staples and put them together. And everybody had their own idea of what a truck camper should be. As we walked through this modern high-tech facility, Norm told us about an eye-opening trip they had to Germany that forever changed the way Lance Camper builds their campers and travel trailers. It was really an awakening to see how far, how advanced they were in Europe in building recreation vehicles. They were using a lot more computers in the design of it and a lot more computers in the construction. Um, the product, the product looked like it was built like, like Ikea builds furniture. They were building kits, the interiors, and, and uh, the product was, was beautiful. Well, we decided that this was a real good time to take a look at making a change. And the more we got into it, the more we liked what we saw. And so we made the purchase of a very heavy computer program called SolidWorks, which is a three-dimensional uh, CAD CAM program to where your RVs can be completely designed on a computer, three dimensions. So you can see everything about it before you ever m make one cut of material. And from that, we purchased CNC machines, which are controlled numerical routers. When the computer in the R&D department talks to the computer that operates the machine, so everything that we saw on the computer in the R&D department could actually be manufactured automatically by computers in the shop. Well, what was the benefit? Well, the benefit was that we no longer needed to use sticks and staples and glue. We started using material that's called lamy ply or light ply, and it's a material that's finished on both sides and it can be cut by these routing machines. The machine will actually cut, it'll route, it'll drill, it'll do almost every operation that was once a manual operation, and it will do it with precision like we have never seen before in the industry. One, it made 
it made every part exactly the same. So tolerances, we didn't need to, to allow for tolerances anymore. We were able to eliminate the, the, the plastic trim that goes between parts to take care of the saw cut and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, make a very clean looking finish. So the product comes out looking like construction in your home rather than like RV product. Mm -hmm. And it eliminates a lot of weight, eliminates a lot of labor, and it's put together with screws rather than staples and glue. And the, the position of the screws <clears throat> in called the ready to fit fixture, that's all done on the computer and every piece that comes out already has the placement for all these screws and hardware built in. So a shop employee who was an assembler, before he had a staple gun, he had a drill, he had all the, now he only has one piece of equipment, it's a power screw gun, yeah. and that's all he needs to put it together. So the, the product, once it's engineered, once it's designed, the equipment in the shop cuts all the parts, and, and he's just an assembler. So from a consumer standpoint, the product is much more precision much more accurate it's almost impossible to make a mistake once it comes together if it works here it's going to work for a long long time coming up after the break we'll take a factory tour and see what goes into building a lance camper Well, now that we know the history behind Lance Camper, we'll join Les Fowler, Head of Product Development and Engineering, as he guides us through the construction process. What we have here is one of our uh, cut automatic cutoff saws from the engineering department. We send the files to the production department. They will then send that information to the various cutoff saws, automated cutoff saws. This particular one, We'll tell her how, many, how much material to load into the saw, goes through and then cuts each one of the pieces needed for that particular run. Also produces a label where she can label each one of the pieces, which will then show what departments those pieces have to go to. This is one of our automatic panel saws. Again, anything done in engineering sent to the production office from there, they'll download that material requirements to this saw. They'll cut the plywoods and the uh, decor panels on this saw, and then again, send them to the departments as required. What you see here in the background is our large CNC machine. This is a CNC machine that we use for the floors, side walls, ceilings, our front walls, and our rear walls. What it's doing right now is cutting the foam path for our creating the fixture for our aluminum tube. As you can see here, the CNC has done the routing for all the aluminum tube. In this particular instance, this aluminum tube is going to be placed there with the bottom piece in there, and then the CNC puts the welding locations for the welders, so we tell them exactly where we want them to weld the aluminum tube. we are in our lamination area. This area is climate controlled. We have humidifiers and heating to keep this room a certain temperature. We use a PUR adhesive with our roll coat machine which has a bluish dye in it so as the material comes through it's going to show the glue bond that is on the uh, substrates that are going on. This is a floor right here. They're running the, the panels through right now. They'll set this up at that point in time. It'll go through our pinch roller here in this area here, pinch through and proceed back down the conveyor system back to the CNC machine for its second routing, which would then be any holes, uh, windows, route outs that have to be done to the finished product. 
Okay, in this area here, this is our cabinet shop where we have two CNC machines. Uh, we're building our cabinets out of a European plywood, light plywood that comes out of Spain. Uh, it's about 30% lighter than the plywood here in the U.S. Their VOC is twice as, as, as stringent in Europe as it is here in the U.S. Look closely at those rounded out holes. They are one of the key reasons why Lance Camper sets the standards for quality, fit, and finish as Les shows us. Okay, this is uh, some of our typical cabinet construction where we have two pieces of plywood basically and then a, a uh, plastic corner cap that the plywood slides into which then makes the uh, cabinet. As far as on the back side, you can see the RTA fastener that's been put in to the back side of the panel which looks like this part right here. And what that allows is the screw to come through the, in the right location and the right angle on the uh, cabinet, this one going up into the overhead. Coming up, we'll see the rest of the operations involved in getting a finished beauty like this. Before the break, we saw how all the camper's components are engineered and fabricated. And now, we'll see how they all come together in a finished camper starting with the basement. We're starting here at the beginning of the truck camper line where we start with the floor upside down and do the basement. This particular one's getting the tanks and the trusses installed right now, our side rails. From this location, it goes down the bottom is finished in this location and then it goes into our flipper where we flip it from being upside down right side up and then start setting the cabinet. We're in the first station after they flipped the unit over and they started setting the cabinets, the plumbing, doing the electrical in this particular station. A couple things you can notice here, this being the galley cabinet, we do a partial pre-route for any of the options that someone may want to add. This is for a solar regulator, this would be for a, uh, a DSI water switch. So if they add that option, they can very easily route that out on the line to add that option. Once all the sidewalls are set, walls in place, front wall is set, we'll go over and then set the sidewalls onto the unit. Okay, they've installed the uh, rotomotive propane compartment. You've got the refrigerator, water heater furnace at this location. They'll install the electrical cord inlet, uh, the exterior wash station. You've got uh, your storage compartment below and above in the back corner. Okay, in this area you can see our ceilings. What we do here is complete the roof prior to installing it up on top of our product. So this will have all the vents, uh, radio antenna, air conditioner, all vents. They seal all the vents, lift the whole unit up on top, and uh, then install the ceiling complete. Okay, here you can see the roof complete after it's been installed on top of the camper. Everything has been sealed. and. Uh, Ready to go, walk on roof. Okay, in the slide out department, we'll start with the sidewall sitting down. They assemble the slide out in this location here, then hydraulically put it onto a cart, which is then delivered over into this area here where the cabinets are set. Everything is finished on the unit from this standpoint. Window treatments, cushions, everything, and it is then pushed over to the line and installed into the camper. Now, at this station, it's really beginning to look like a Lance Camper, with all the decals and finish work being done. This is our sewing department. At Lance, we build everything except the physical cushions. We do all the balances in-house. We do the carpet kits and shower curtains, divider curtains, vent covers, all done in-house. The last couple stations here on the line is where they install the window coverings, balances, uh, upholstery fabrics, carpet, and uh, the last final finish items uh, before it goes out the door into final testing. The campers now come outside of the plant. In this location here, they do all the final tests. They do their water tests, gas tests, electric tests check the appliances, slide out mechanism, make sure everything's working properly in this location here. From here, out to the yard on a truck and shipped away.
By the way, Lance also has a state-of-the-art repair facility in store right across the street that is open to everyone needing repair work or the latest RV accessories. Everything that goes on in this modern high-tech facility from the time you enter the front office, throughout the plant, and out in the finished storage yard is geared towards one thing, making sure the quality, beauty, and reputation of Lance Camper goes on for years to come.